Healthy Conversations is made possible through a grant from the William L. and Ruth T. Pendleton Memorial Fund. Hi, my name is Adrienne Neubauer. I'm the Director of Patient Access here at Dignity Health, Yavapai Regional Medical Center. And this is Kelly Brooks. She's our Business Systems Analyst. We're here today to introduce our new online registration process. Our online registration process allows you to register completely online for your upcoming visit, either at one of our main campuses at in Prescott and Prescott Valley or any of our clinics. Um, throughout the community. Once you're scheduled for a visit at Yavapai Regional Medical Center or one of your clinics, you will receive an email that allows you to click on the link and completely register online or go through our patient portal and register through our pre-registration link. Either way, it will take you to our registration portal that will allow you to complete the registration 30 days before you come to your visit. You will also get a reminder email that if you haven't registered to go online and register for your visit. Once you complete the registration, you will receive a barcode that allows you to check, check in when you arrive for your appointment. Now Kelly will go through the patient experience on the portal of what it takes to do a complete registration. For the online registration, one way you can get to your patient portal is from our yrmc.org homepage. If you scroll to the bottom of the homepage, you will see links for YRMC Care Connect and the patient portal. This takes you to your normal portal login screen where you will enter in your login credentials. So we are now in the front page of your patient portal. On the left-hand side of the screen is a link that says pre-register, which will allow you to register for your upcoming appointment at Dignity Health Yavapai Regional Medical Center. Clicking the pre-register link will drive you directly to the registration website. The first view of the website that you are taken to is the patient dashboard. From the dashboard, you can see your upcoming appointments and you can change any of your information on file, such as your address, your phone number, and your insurance. But to register for an appointment, you simply locate the appointment in the list of appointments and click on the register button. The first part of the patient registration is to verify your demographic information. You can also upload a photo ID by clicking on the edit button. In this screen, you verify your address, primary contact number, and an email address that we can have on file. Additionally, if you have a copy of your photo ID saved as a document on your computer, you can click here to upload an image of your photo ID. If all of the information looks good, you can save and move on to the next portion. Scrolling down gives you the option to set your language, your race, your ethnicity, and your marital status. This information should flow from what your scheduler collected when you scheduled your appointment. For most patients, it is a matter of confirming this information is accurate, but you can update it if you would like by clicking the edit button. On this screen, you can also set your employment status and who you work for, as well as a primary next of kin and an emergency contact. You can confirm that these are still the correct people or you can click on edit to change the information. If everything looks correct, you can click save and continue to move on to the next portion of registration. The insurance that populates on this screen, it should be the insurance that you discussed with the scheduler at the time of creating your appointment. 
From this screen, you can confirm that the information is correct, or you can upload a copy of your insurance card by clicking edit, which allows you to edit your insurance information. And if the information that is in here already looks good, you can continue through and scroll down until you get to the <laughs> upload insurance card section where you can upload both the front and the back of your insurance card. This helps our registration staff ensure that they have your insurance entered as accurately as possible for your appointment. Once your insurance looks acceptable, you can hit save to move on to the next portion. If you need to change the insurance that is on file in your registration, clicking add insurance will walk you through the steps to add a new insurance. This will be sent to the location of your appointment so that registration staff can update your appointment as necessary. Once your insurance looks acceptable, you can click save and continue to move on to the next portion. At this screen, you can indicate if you would like your questionnaires and forms to be populated in English or Spanish. Please indicate on this screen if you need an interpreter for any of your services, if you have any communication disabilities, or if you need any type of communication assistance. Then save and continue to move on to the next portion. Because I indicated that I did not need an interpreter, I do have to see the waiver form saying I did not need an interpreter. Please feel free to read the form and move on to the next screen. This online registration process is really wonderful that you can do at home because you are presented all the same forms and questions that you would be presented with if you were to arrive for your appointment. This just allows you to complete this in the comfort of your own home. This next screen asks if you are experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms or if you have been exposed to anyone with COVID symptoms. If you indicate that you have symptoms related to COVID, you may be contacted by your clinic or office where you scheduled your appointment to potentially discuss your symptoms and possibly reschedule you. Once you answer the COVID questionnaire, you can continue on to the next screen. For patients with Medicare insurance, you no longer have to answer all those pesky Medicare questions in a registration booth. You can answer those questions right here on the computer. Once you have answered the questionnaire, you can continue on to the next screen. Our organization does offer financial assistance should you need it, and this screen walks you through how to apply for financial assistance if you are interested. At the bottom of the screen, you do have the ability to indicate if you are interested in receiving financial assistance, in which case you will be presented with further documentation explaining how to get signed up for it. Once that form is completed, you are given the next form, which does ask you to indicate your birth sex. And then you can move on to the next screen. So this is our outpatient conditions of service form, which allows us to treat you and bill your insurance, among other things. Please feel free to read through this form. This is the same exact form that is provided to every patient who presents for any service on the outpatient side at Dignity Health Yavapai Regional Medical Center. 
There are some questions at the bottom of the screen that are typically asked in the registration process related to advanced directives and medical power of attorneys. Please answer these questions and move on to the next screen. The next screen outlines all of your patient rights. At the end of your registration process, you are able to print these forms for your review if you would like. Once you have reviewed your patient rights, you can move on to the next screen. The next screen informs all of our patients that Dignity Health Yavapai Regional Medical Center participates in what is called the Health Information Exchange. This screen outlines what the Health Information Exchange is. At the bottom of the screen, you can move on to the next screen, which allows you to opt out of the Health Information Exchange if you wish to do so. If you want to be opted into the Health Information Exchange, you can leave this blank and move on to the next screen. If you have previously opted out of the Health Information Exchange and you would like to be opted back in, you can do so at this screen. At the end of your registration process, when you have answered all questionnaires and completed all forms, you are provided with a barcode, just like at the airport. From this screen, you are also given some reminders about your appointment. You are given directions on how to save the barcode to your phone if you registered on your phone. You can also print your barcode or you can take a picture of the barcode with your cell phone and bring it in with you when you are checking in for your appointment. This screen also provides the patient directions on how to find their appointment location. The patient can review their insurance information selected for the appointment. And we do have the ability to review the answers to our questionnaires that were provided in the registration process, as well as print any signed forms or documents from the registration process. Again, you can do all of this from the comfort of your home to ensure that you have all the documentation that you need for your upcoming appointment. When you arrive for your appointment, you simply scan your barcode at a designated barcode scanning machine and you are checked in just like that. If the registration clerks need anything more from you that was missed in registration, they will be sure to call you up to their desk. Thank you so much, Kelly. Mm -hmm. I know that was a lot of information. So if you have any questions or you need assistance, we have a online registration hotline. You can reach us at 928-771-5547. Thanks again for joining us. You can see more of Dignity Health Healthy Conversations at YRMCHealthConnect.org.